Hello, hello, Canadian Sasquatch here, coming with you with a uh, little uh, home project here. It's uh, going to be cold here in Texas, for Texas standards. It's uh, supposed to get down into the uh, low 40s, maybe 30s over the next couple of days, and my fermentation chamber needs a heater. So, i got to come up with a heater for it. So here's my uh, parts that i got going on here. So, uh, I won't be able to videotape me doing the whole thing because I don't have a good place to uh, set the camera down and show everything going on. So, as I make progress, I will hopefully remember to set up the camera and uh, show the progress or you'll see the end result. Either way, I will have uh, some uh, instructions on how I did this in case anybody else wants to do it. So, uh, here we go. So, first things first is we're taking this paint can that I just picked up down at Lowe's and this will become the, uh, the main heater part. We will uh, affix that guy to the lid which will then put that guy on, wired with the cord, and we will plug in a 60 watt bulb, and this will become a little heater. So yeah, first things first is uh, getting this guy put into place and uh, set up. So uh, here we go. And there we go. It is now screwed on. To the top. Next we'll be running the power cord through and wiring up the light socket. Easy peasy. Connect the uh, black or hot wire to the brass ones. And the uh, neutral or the white wire to the silver ones and it's all wired up there I just gotta put in the bulb and uh, give it a quick test and we're good to go and there it is bulb in and it's working I just gotta put it all together and uh, tidy it up and we are in business So just one little thing that I did here just to protect things a little better is I covered the exposed wires with some, uh, oops, there goes the drill, uh, electrical tape just so that there's no chance in the uh, exposed wires touching the metal uh, rim which is connected to the metal paint can and cause a short or anything like that. Just, just a little bit of caution since it's going to be running automatically on my control on my temperature controller and no need to uh, no such thing as overkill when it comes to doing something like this and there you have it took me twenty dollars and twenty minutes and that just goes in like that and then you just tap it down and you've got a heater with a nifty little handle So then I will just put this into my chamber and and that's will be all she wrote for that. Quick little project. And there it sits. Heating away. Let's uh, connect it to my uh, little temperature controller that I built. And it's doing its job now although it's I've got it set for 17 and a half degrees and it just kicked the freezer on because well it hit 18 so but now I'm ready for the uh, cold snap coming in so there you go $20 20 minutes heater for uh, the uh, chest freezer fermentation chamber cheers